You'd, you might know that Kitty, every 1st of April, uh, does a joke, so, some kind of joke. And you might be wondering, actually, how does Kitty choose what jokes to make on the 1st of April? Well, usually how it goes is that throughout the year, somebody makes a joke and then we say, well, you know what, that could work well the 1st of April. And this adds up and then when actually we're getting close to the 1st of April, uh, me or somebody else actually goes back and searches for 1st of April in all of the kiddie chats, that, that's at least how I do this, and writes down all of the ideas that were sent throughout the year and does a message saying, okay, which one should we go for? And now I'm going to go by memory, so maybe I'm not remember everything correctly, but I, I want to talk slightly about how GNOME were to be, because that was actually kind of funny. So we did the 1st of April joke one year, and shortly after that, there was a talk of saying, okay, but what if we got, uh, got actually GNOME involved? And I think it was just like a few days after the 1st of April or something like that. So everybody just kind of forgot about it until the 1st of April of the next year. And one month before that, I just went into the promotion group and was like, hey, 15 months, uh, uh, sorry, 11 months ago, we had this idea that sounds pretty cool. How about we actually act on this? And uh, the cool thing is that the promotion group of KD does actually have ties to the promotion group of GNOME. And if I remember correctly, back then there was actually uh, a person from the GNOME promotion group that got um, engaged in KD promo group even before that to, um, I, I don't remember, look around somewhat. <laughs> I don't quite remember. So it was actually pretty easy to get started. And I discovered that uh, GNOME does actually also have a promotion group that's freely available, available uh, sorry, for everyone to join. And back then I actually joined the GNOME promotion group, which is not called like that, but you know, I don't remember. And we proposed the idea and the grown people were actually very interested in participating. So now that we actually decided to do something together, we had to decide what. And you might say, okay, GNOME, doing GNOME is such an obvious joke. So, but there were, there were actually other options as well. And one of the options that really lasted until the end, I don't know if I should talk about this. Maybe we'll do it in the future, but let's let's say it but don't talk about it too much was actually to do a joint announcement without saying that it was a joint announcement and to make KD say make KD say that it was actually switching to JTK and make GNOME say that it was switching to Qt the same day I, we thought that was going to pr pr be pretty funny but eventually we thought okay let's just merge the project and do GNOME and most of the GNOME promotion material actually got from the KD promotion group, but we, we often, we, you can see this mockup and this mockup are done by Manuel, which is uh, very active in the visual design group of KD. Then there was for the website, I think Core Carl, Carl did most of the job actually uh, buying the domain and setting it up. And Carl is from the promotion and visual design and development KDE work groups. And we often actually asked GNOME for feedback and we also asked them to make statements to actually embed into the GNOME website. And back then, if you, if you went to the GNOME website, you had statements from uh, Alex Paul, which is currently the KDE AV board uh, director, it's not called director, but the, the boss of the KDE AV board. And then we also add the boss of GNOME, which is also not called the boss of GNOME, but I, I, I'm weird, weird, <laughs> weirdly enough, I don't know that well the names of the GNOME position organization, so sorry about that. However, uh, not everybody, even in the KD community, not everybody thought this was going to be fun. And we actually did some mockups of uh, some projects uh, of KD 
together with projects of GNOME, like mixing all of the concepts. And some of the maintainers of the KD projects actually got in the KD promo group saying, uh, please remove this part because I, I don't think this is a good idea, take off this part, which was, um, and under I mean, it's the right for the project not to be mentioned in such thing if they want, but we thought you're killing all of the fun. <laughs> But eventually we did make this and it went pretty well. In the last round of April Fool's idea, which again, I collected on the 1st of April, we, there were some very nice ideas. Like one idea as an example was that KeyRunner actually manages to do COVID tests just by typing COVID test and it would come out as either positive or negative and we would advertise the feature that it would actually be able to do the COVID test just by KDE because KDE is able to do everything and we even had this version where, where you actually had to leak the screen to actually get your COVID test done. That was a nice idea but uh, people rightfully say that maybe joking about a pandemic wasn't the best idea so we discarded that. There, were, there was also an idea to actually make a notification. I'm talking about this because all of this idea got discarded, so we probably won't do them. A notification that was about KD Plasma actually requiring a key to unlock. So, so a bit like Windows, you know, like we insert the KD license key to um, uh, enable Windows. Just the same thing, but in a KD Plasma notification, we actually added a mockup. I don't remember, sorry, who did the mockup. That was pretty funny, but uh, we thought that could be, let's say, interpreted in the wrong way, because there's, even though you're doing a joke and it's clear it's a joke, there's always going to be that one person that actually believes in it. So, and eventually we went to, uh, with a knotch, or as I call it, the scotch which was actually published on my channel, but yeah. And I think that the cool thing about all of these ideas is that there is no such thing as the kitty secret chat about the 1st of April Fool's joke, even for the Gnome one. This was all done public publicly in the KDE promotion group and its related chats. So everybody can actually join the KDE promo group and propose an idea for the 1st of April. And even if you do it now, I'm gonna write that down and you know, next year when the first half of April comes, I'll read that and um, we'll discuss it. So if you think that kiddies should make some kind of April Fool's joke, uh, well, you're more than welcome to actually join the promotion group and start discussing with us. Uh, if you do that like one week before 1st of April, that's even better about what could be done. And uh, that's usually a very funny part of being part of the KD promotion group, which you can join easily, even if you're not a KD developer and anybody can join if you want to help out. So I'm just going to leave that there.